big breaking news. It seems like another day, another attack on our critical infrastructure. And I am really getting concerned for a chemical or a biological attack on a mass scale that could happen in the very near future. If you saw my video yesterday, Klaus Schwab himself is warning of a quote, black swan event. All right. So I'm worried all of these are building up to something really big. And I'm worried that there could be cells inside of the United States that are committing these crimes. All right. There could be organized crime cells inside the U S that are ready to activate and start destroying our infrastructure. This is a very real possibility. And the government themselves have even talked about these cells that could be inside the United States and could activate and could target our grid and critical infrastructure. All right. So Let's dive into what's happening here. The EPA is warning people to shelter in place. And once again, these the shelter in place orders are the opposite of what you should do. You should evacuate. You should evacuate. All right. You need to get out of this area. There are toxic chemicals burning. So you can see here EPA advises Doral, Florida. This is in Florida. Residents to shelter in place as renewable energy plant continues to burn. This plant has been burning for a week already. And they just now issued this shelter in place order. And it's been releasing toxic chemicals into the air. And it's also a energy plant, part of our critical infrastructure as well. All right. And things are getting so bad that... I saw this on Twitter. People are starting to speculate, are we under attack? All right. I saw Donald Trump Jr. even tweeting this. Go follow me on Twitter if you don't. But I saw this pop up. Okay. This is crazy. Are we under attack? Does anyone believe you can have all of these major train derailments, all with severe environmental consequences, and it's just a total coincidence? Why have we not seen anyone asking if this is perhaps retribution for our supported attack on Nord Stream 2? So he's even admitting that this attack on Nord Stream 2 could have came from the United States and saying that, hey, are we under attack? I just thought it was interesting that this prominent of a figure is coming out and saying, hey, maybe we are under attack right now. And there's also been a major train derailment, another one with hazardous materials outside of Detroit. Okay, and there's also been a major nursery plant fire in Florida as well. We'll get to the details of that stuff in just a second. But here's the details of this renewable energy plant. So a renewable energy plant in Doral has been burning all week, leading to residents near the facility to remain sheltered indoors as officials continue to put out the fire. Once again, you should evacuate. We'll talk more about that in just a second. On Friday, students at school near the plant were dismissed early out of an abundance of caution. The schools that were dismissed included Andrea Castillo Preparatory Academy and Doral Senior High School. There are also two parks affected by the smoke, including Doral Glades Park and Doral Legacy Park. The EPA released a report on Thursday which said the smoke from the fire had hit unhealthy levels and that residents should be told they're in place. All right, so it doesn't make sense. Why would you shelter in place just sit in this smoke and fire? It just doesn't make sense. The government is, does not have our best interests at heart and common sense can tell you that. And it says the general recommendations is to stay in stores, stay indoors, yada, yada, yada. All right, you need to get out of there. People in Ohio, they were this massive train derailment happened i've been talking about it a bunch the water's poisoned all right vinyl chloride is spilled and being exploded into the atmosphere people are saying that their houses are just covered in soot and their houses just smell like chemicals now when they've gone back to their houses in ohio and they're just covered in soot everything's just covered in black soot and stuff like this because of this massive chemical explosion that happened and everything smells, everything they touch is contaminated, and their entire homes are contaminated. They evacuated, and they are now going back to their homes to see what it's like, and they are destroyed. That's why I'm saying you should evacuate the situation if you are in Doral, Florida, or the surrounding areas. And also a massive nursery plant caught on fire in Florida, too, and it's raining plastic. We'll get to that in just a second, but there's something that... I just wanted to pinpoint really quick, guys, because this is just 
it's bigger than this. We are seeing a biological chemical attack every single day. Okay. Look at this article. I've, if you follow my channel, you've seen this article a hundred times, but it's so important. White House is pushing ahead research to cool the earth by reflecting back sunlight. And I, I highlighted the most critical parts. Stratospheric aerosol injection involves spraying an aerosol-like sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, and because it has the potential to affect the entire globe, it often gets the most attention. Sulfur dioxide creates acid rain. Right here, this is on uh, a .gov website, newhampshire.gov, right here. Okay, It says, acid rain is caused by the release of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere where they react with water oxygen and other chemicals to become sulfuric and nitric acid respectively the ph of acid impacted rain is generally below 4.5 on the ph scale all right so they're spraying sulfur dioxide into the skies constantly and creating acidic rain as well all right so when they are creating clouds, they are spraying silver iodide. I've hit on silver a lot. When they are trying to make clouds and make it rain, they spray silver, okay? Because they can electrically charge the atmosphere with these frequencies to make clouds. But when they are trying to block out the sun and create these like hazy, these really thick hazes that you've seen that just look like mush clouds they're just all mushed together it's like the whole sky is just glazed over with the gray that is the sulfur dioxide that is the stratospheric aerosol injection where they're spraying sulfur dioxide which is almost like a chalk that is emitted from volcanoes and it's blocking out the sun all right and making it cooler so it doesn't make it rain but it makes it cooler and then when it does rain it makes the rain more acidic okay because this is now in the environment so it's just crazy this is already happening over our heads 24 7 chemical and biological events and you can also see here a massive train crash happened right outside detroit as well too this was just yesterday morning and it was the same company, Norfolk Southern, that crashed in East Palestine, Ohio. So what what is going on? And some of the tracks, some of the tracks in Ohio that they were showing are literally like this. They're literally just, it looks like somebody laid a bunch of sticks down to make the tracks. They are insane. And it's supposed to be on flat ground, but it's just the tracks are so washed out and the trains are operating in ridiculous circumstances that are just unsustainable for our supply chain and you can see here another one crashed outside of detroit and it was carrying hazardous materials uh thankfully they were saying that the hazardous materials were not leaking all right that's what they're saying hopefully but it's one of these situations we could have just had another east palestine situation right outside of detroit all right so w what's going on that's why it's like, are we under attack? That's why I just wanted to bring this up. I, this popped up on my Twitter feed, and I was like, this is what I've been saying for months. I've been saying this for months. We are under attack, and I'm sure you guys feel it. You guys are seeing it every single day, just like I am. And you can even see here a massive Florida nursery caught on fire as well, too, and it is raining plastic down from the skies. So warehouse 13 miles from Orlando Disney World engulfed in massive fire. Stay indoor orders issued due to burning plastic, all right? It's literally raining plastic down from the sky. And this was a plant nursery and their plastic plant pots. They had a giant warehouse filled with them. You can never have too many of those if you're growing plants, especially a nursery. And the warehouse caught on fire, okay? And you can see here from pictures that people were posting on social media, I tried to pinpoint these pieces of plastic. The picture on your left here in front of the house, that little tiny speck, that's a little piece of plastic that's raining down from the sky. This person was taking a video, and there's just tons of these little specks falling down from the sky. And you can see there a closer up picture from it falling on their car, and it's little pieces of plastic from this nursery that went up in flames and it's just raining down plastic i mean 
if, if, we're, if we're not getting ready for a dry run, then I don't know what's going on, all right? And if these cells aren't being activated, I don't know what's going on. We know this. There's even cells from organizations from countries, from foreign countries that are inside of our own country, and they can be activated at any time, okay? Our border is wide open. It's a major vulnerability, and it allows anybody to come in anything to sneak in it's very dangerous just a couple weeks ago there was a missing uh nuclear package that was floating around in the uk all right and they and they weren't sure where it came from they're like where's, where's this nuclear package coming from these things are very open very porous our border is we do not know what's coming across and there could be cells coming across that or that have already came across that are now activating and committing these attacks on our critical infrastructure right now sabotaging our infrastructure and we're going to see more inflation more supply chain issues all this stuff's happening constantly if you didn't see my video yesterday the dhs is warning iphone users giving them emergency warnings like i'm really worried we're going to see some kind of big events coming very soon klaus schwab's warning of a black swan event and it could be inside the united states and even just all these little events they're not little but these local events i should say they add up it's incrementalism i always say this but this is the key this needs to get out because this is the key to everything, how this entire agenda is being implemented. That's why these plans were made 100 years ago, right? They've, they've made these plans decades and decades ago. And we are just now seeing the fruits of all of their labor, of all of the systems that have been put in place to finally activate at this moment, all right? And see these big, massive black swan events like Klaus Schwab is warning of, okay? So make sure you guys are getting prepared. Make sure you guys are stocking up on food. Get rice, get canned food, canned meat, canned vegetables, all this stuff. A one 20 pound bag of rice can help you survive for up to two weeks. A single person, it's enough calories for two weeks and it costs like eight, nine, ten dollars $10, all right? So you can be living off 50 cents a day of calories if it hits the fan all right with rice and meat and your other staples stock up on gold silver stock up on coins because you're not going to be able to access your funds your accounts all right for investments that's one thing but for practical uses when it hits the fan you should have some silver coins some gold coins so you can trade so you can barter with all right so make sure you guys are getting prepared Make sure you guys are ready for some kind of biological chemical event. Make sure you have HEPA filters. Make sure you have water filters. And make sure you are out of the big cities, all right? So thank you guys so much. Hit that like. Hit that sub. Hit that bell if you want to get notified for my videos. I'm posting two to three videos every single day. Thank you guys so much. And you have a big old blessed day.